Hello everyone, this is Zayami from filmfestivalcircuit.com and the Oregon Short Film Festival. And right now we're gearing up for our spring screening, which is gonna take place on March 17th at the beautiful historic Clinton Street Theater in Portland, Oregon. Uh, and today I'm talking with one of our participating filmmakers. Edgar Garcia Chavez is the writer, editor, uh, producer, and director behind The Ghost of Recent Past. Edgar, thank you so much for meeting with me today. Oh, thank you, it was a pleasure to be with you and uh, always like, enjoy talking about film and you know not, not only mine but uh in general totally. and, and i'm glad to be part of the festival i've been here a couple times before and it's always been a very very pleasant uh experience you know with yourself Simi, and uh, uh michael michael Ferrer usually uh prepare a very good uh event that uh, allows a lot of networking and you know meeting with new people and then um just seeing you know great films it's always great well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I should have mentioned you are an alumni to the film festival. You've made several great films before, and uh, this is another great one. I want to know what inspired this film. Uh, well, in this one, I have. Uh, um, yeah, I'm original from from Mexico, so when I moved here to to Oregon, uh, I find it interesting how like um, there was not as much diversity, and I tried mm -hmm. to like look at it like, oh, what are the reasons when it happened? And then I look at the, I find out that the, at the very conception of the state, the Oregon constitution didn't allow like a uh, black people specifically to own property. Totally. And um, uh, so then I thought it's like, oh, okay, how much of this um, history has been erased? So you don't really see that much, right? So I like, I came out all that, I look into the, uh, that idea that I found out like, that language was remain in the constitution until like 2012. Right. right? So a lot of people say, well, it was not uh, uh, enforced anymore, but it was still there. Right. So that's the, that's kind of like the, the idea behind it. So it's like, um, in this case, like we film in an old house, mm -hmm. uh, and the idea is like, um, uh, a couple, you know, like interracial couple, one, you know, one is, uh, uh African American and the other, uh, the man and the, the woman is white moving to the, to the house, the house is haunted with a ghost that died a um, hundred years ago, right? So that ghost get, got stoke, uh, stuck with um, with the ideas of the time, right? You know what I mean? It's like it didn't that ghost didn't evolve; it didn't became like you know uh, uh, evolve with the time, right? So when they right. move in, the um, uh, um, the male, the black person. Uh, guess all these supernatural events happening to him only um and um and that's kind of the idea of like how like prejudice or like racism still happens and in this case the the, the, the white person doesn't believe it right until right. until later on she's able to see it and then you say oh, okay it's real right so that's kind right. of like the idea and i was trying to get it like with some kind of humor and like um um and you just trying to, you know, tell the story in a, uh, in a different way, I guess, you know, but that's basically the, the concept that trying to, to show that all these, um, <clears throat> ideologies and all these like behaviors or, you know, um, negative behaviors, they're still part of the, of society in some way. Totally. So I think it's still valid to, um, uh, discuss and like, you know, show it as well. Right. Right. Well, I think it's a great concept. I love the way that you balance, you know, these ideas that uh, this old seated racism is still kind of in the framework here. And uh, it's been erased from Portland, which is considered this progressive Mecca. Uh, but you balance that uh, with great humor. And overall, it's, it's funny from start to finish. And I'm curious, what was the writing process like uh, kind of balancing a very lighthearted, funny film uh, with this kind of, uh, you know, real socio-political kind of message? Uh, well, in general, I mean, I like uh, comedy is probably my favorite genre, right? I'm trying okay. to see, and I think like uh, tackling, like to me, it's like everything. Uh, I really, I'm a firm believer of freedom of speech, right? So I think you should be able to tackle any topic. Totally. Able, and I think humor sometimes like gives that, um, uh, let's say, license, like creative license to push th certain things to an, in, an, in another, another directions, right? So the um, the process I start like more like serious as a as an idea, right? So it's like okay, we have the constitution, so this is like a very like specific and like um, relevant or like you know uh, very important document, right? 
Right. There's a lot of things that I think politically sometimes it's like, oh, it's written it's by the founding fathers or something like that, right? But people at the time, even the founding state, were just people, right? So it made mistakes right. and make uh, their ideologies, you know, it cannot be frozen in time until now. You know what right. I mean? It's like totally. they should evolve in some way. And I was trying to, you know, see and then um, how that can be evolved and the idea of like um, this supernatural uh, events happening, right? So how the ghost, you know, will be, because I always find interesting is like, well, obviously that, yeah, the ghost is a specific um, figure, but this person, well, the ghost in my film doesn't talk, right? It doesn't right. have, because I always find it not necessarily that it's taking something serious and then it's like the idea of the ghost is like completely fictitious or it could be, right? Like right. it could exist, could not. And I was trying to add um, I just have a, I have a lot of ideas how that manifests, right? So I was trying to make it, it manifest through like um, regular things, like water, a glass of water. Right. Or like, I was thinking of uh, marbles, like you know, rolling. So there were right. several totally. ideas that they didn't they didn't make and have the ping pong, right? Or uh, you know, uh, golf ball, right? You know, that it just appears out of nowhere, right? So it's out of out of context, and I like the idea of. Um, I mean, I have all these ideas, like actually go through walls and like, you know, so once you start uh, going through the process of, okay, well, how are we going to make it? How do we actually make it, you know, and then how to like uh, tone down all this, these ideas, right? And this oh, idea, right. uh, I mean, it's plays a little bit with them, um, uh, sexuality as well, right? That, right. Because um, uh, that's like, it's a play on, on, on the bedroom, but then, you know, it transforms. So I just have all these like things that are like, uh, I usually start with like basically brainstorming like all the, the, the overall structure and then from there I start narrowing down and okay how much I can do it because we filmed this one in, in a couple of days right mm. so um, I was trying to we had the house just for uh, oh yeah we have the house for a couple of days so basically one day was the first floor scenes and the next day was just the bedroom mm. um, so um, and then I so actually the, the idea started because I, I was invited, this is a, one of my friend's house, I was invited to, to her house or new house at the time. And um, and I saw the house like, oh, this one has a lot of things already and it's old and it's historical. And and, totally. all, and that's that's one of, I, I mean, I wrote the, the pieces specifically for that house, right? Mm, okay. Because, because there was um, um, like the bedroom itself, it was like kind of small, it was like 12 by 12 or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think, oh, maybe we can do the bedroom scene just in a different house. Um, but, I, and I guess in looking back now, maybe we should have done that because it was too small. <laughs> it was a hot day and, oh, totally. uh, you know, it was, a, uh, it was a few things that there's a little confetti on the, on the bed. It was get stuck on their actor's skin and, you know, <laughs> they were sweating, you know, and all the, the kind totally. of, but yeah. Well, I love hearing about the process and it's interesting to hear all the different ingredients that uh, went into this, you know, idea ingredients that went into making this film. And I'm curious, what was the shooting process like? You know, you've uh, worked with some of these actors before, I believe. Um, what was the process like? Uh, so I have, we have um, uh, auditions, right? So I have a few actors that I've worked before and I'm trying to say, okay, how much this one uh, work? And I was trying to get this, um, power balance, right? So I was looking in some ways for the actor to be a little bit shorter and then if he, in the, like uh, the girl to be a little bit taller mm -hmm. with high heels. And so there's like a power dynamic okay. that I thought would be visually interesting. And the other thing that I was very helpful um, was trying to have um, rehearsals. That really that really helped just for them um, to get to know each other and then some intimate scene in a bed, right? So totally. how, that, how that work. And uh, and that really helped for them to get comfortable. And there was there was a dialogue as well, right? Because I I told them that this is what I wrote, that what I have idea. But they're like in my field, I'm saying that you don't have to be specifically like okay. word for word, right? right? Trying to say sometimes something comes out spontaneously is fine. But at the same time, it's like I'm not expecting them to improvise the right. whole thing or all the stuff because that's hard. Obviously, you know there right. is a dynamic, and then they have to learn. Uh, for the most part, but if they made a mistake or like something like that, it's just, you know, uh, keep going. Right. Totally. And, um, things like, uh, wardrobe as well. Right. We're trying to find out like, well, what it works better, how they feel comfortable putting, you know, shirt on and off and that kind of stuff. Um, for the, uh, the ghost itself, she couldn't come 
he couldn't come to uh, rehearsal, so we had to, and he sent his dimensions, but the day of the shoot, the dimensions he sent were too small. <laughs> so we tried to then, that day, uh, make it work, right? Trying to find out, and a lot of the things, I got a great uh, wardrobe person, Edward Lyon, uh, that she was able to figure out how to nice. do it, and, and trying to like, because once you're there, there's so many people involved, it's hard to have these elements to be not, um, to stop the production, right? So right. in some way the, the show must go on <laughs> and right. trying to get, and then a lot of that is, is feedback as well, right? Basically for the actors and say, okay, go here. Sometimes I agree or not, or I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, have an open mind and like come up with like, listen to the ideas and see if that, that enhances or uh, if we're trying to go that, right? So it's not a, it's not a complete um, or a finished product. Totally. And trying to like, you know, have that, that dialogue and, um, and a lot of, and I think the, the final product, the final product, I think is the result of all these steps. Right. And then all totally. this, I, um, always do a lot of pre-production to it and trying to foresee any issues that will come, come out and stuff, but the day of production, something, the stuff, you know, there's always, something. Out, <laughs> you know, there's something, some, there's always something. So, yeah. Let's try to make it work and then uh, um for the most part it's a final product right so at least be able to finish it and then i think that's the um uh, the reward right to have a no, start, no. starting with something very like abstract or an idea and all that and it start transforming and evolving and and eventually comes down to a fin to a uh, final product that you can see it right yeah um, uh, all the things that i was gonna mention that like uh it was um that I uh, started using AI for this project as well. Oh, really? Yeah, but very, very subtle. So now that I've um, seen, uh, hopefully everybody that watched this already watched the film. <laughs> uh, so there's what the scene at the bed, and probably if I point it out, you probably noticed now. And, and um, when I look at the footage, the script was on the bed. Oh, really? Oh, yep. Okay. So then when obviously we cannot reshoot because everything like, I mean, obviously, we don't have budget, we don't have, so we had to figure right. out, right? So how to how to do it. So that's one of the tools that I learned with uh, After Effects and all that. And basically, um, what it does is creates a mask around the object, and it takes all the data around it and fills the gap. Oh, okay. With that, right? So it's still not perfect. You can actually see it, but like being because the the camera is moving, it's track. So it does. It's smart enough to track the movement, but it's not like. If you put it, if I point it to you, you will notice. Okay. You know, so there's a few things, and then what, there were all the stuff that um, uh, there was people where they have their arm <laughs> sticking out a door frame or something like uh, that. Okay, and, right. And uh, uh, a few lights uh, that you can see the. <clears throat> I didn't mind seeing the light source, <clears throat> but seeing the the pole. And that kind oh of thing, right. So, well, you know, I I didn't notice these things in the viewing. I felt like the the film was engrossing and. Uh, these are just the fun Easter eggs, you know. Mm -hmm. These are uh, they're they're not distracting from the film, and therefore, you know, they don't inhibit the quality. These are just the little. Every movie has them, right? You know, even even the biggest blockbuster, they got the Easter eggs. Um, and I love your uh, collaborative approach, and I feel like it really pays off because the chemistry between the two leads felt really natural. And uh, I mean, I think it really gave a lot of weight to their, uh, you know, the power dynamics and the relationship, and makes it a little bit more human. I want to know uh, what are you working on next? Do you have any more shorts in the works? Um, I have a few projects, uh, but I'm basically uh, well. There's a few, few projects that I'm helping with. One is called um, Lulu's Clubhouse, and it's a um, uh, drag queen talk show. Oh, so cool! Similar to like Peavy's Clubhouse kind of thing. So okay, I'm yeah. That, so I'm helping with that one. Um, uh, but the one that I'm working the most, I did a feature film. Oh, uh, nice! Is uh, it's called The Subcontractors. So this is um, uh, is based on a true story that happened in China. There's uh, this developer that hates his other developer, so so decides going to kill him, and um, obviously, right? <laughs> the right. only solution. Uh, so so he hires a hitman to do the job, right? And so that's hitman number one. So hitman number one hires number hitman number two, half price to do the job. Two hires the third, half price to do the job. Three hires the fourth. And, you know, it goes on like that, right? So that's kind of the the um, the premise of the. Okay, the I love that. Yeah, and did so you say you you uh, what what what's your uh, how far are you with that feature? 
so it's it's a I shot it already, so it's in post production. Okay. Oh, awesome! Out, I have um, um, I started like looking at all the raw, raw footage and like I started like putting it together, but it still needs you know audio needs to be clean and right, you know, get a get music for it and you know, uh, effects and so there's a, you know things that that takes uh, takes time to do right, you know? but um, yeah, so I'm trying to hopefully maybe have at least like a. a a rough cut like in a couple months or something like that and then awesome then we'll decide i don't know probably trying to find out how to do distribution and right <laughs> those kind of things and that's so exciting is this your first uh, feature yeah that's my first yeah okay that's great well congratulations on getting it shot and okay. uh, uh you know i wish you all the best in the uh, uh the post-production process thank you thank um you. is there anything else you'd like to add about the ghost of recent past well in general i hope that people like uh obviously likes it and uh, hopefully it opens like you know a path for dialogue and discussion totally. right so I, like i definitely see that people would not like certain things or something like that and it's completely fine um uh, hopefully i mean always trying to um get feedback right if anyone see it have any comments suggestions or like it or not you know it's like you know let me know and um hopefully you know if people see i'm trying to see so i have the structure right and i explain what i was thinking it's like mm -hmm. i wonder if people like reading that that um uh, that idea right right or if you got a different approach or they see something else right totally one of the things that i was now looking back i think i um so i put the idea of the the ordering of constitution mm -hmm. and then I, i'm like zoom into the paragraph right but it was written like in a cursive or whatever so now i'm thinking oh maybe you should have like written down uh with just like Times New Roman or oh, it was easier to read. It's easy to read, and I think probably a little bit longer. So I'm thinking okay. maybe that's that's one of the things that um because I think it kind of gets lost now that I'm looking looking back. But you know, obviously there's a lot of things that I can totally and the editing process is like you know, but in general, like I mean, hopefully, obviously, you know, the people watch it, see it, and then have some feedback, you know. So that's what I I like the the, the festivals, right? That you can go and see all these you know amazing right. films and. Uh, people that are actually uh, like films, like short films as well, because it's hard to see them in in general. Right. And uh, and then you just have a you know feedback and see how they uh, they react to it, what they like, what they don't. Right. So it's a lot of um, uh, it's not a one size fit all, right? Right. It's all that like people will have different interpretations and different ideas and what it was. Uh, good or what it was bad and you know but i always i always try to say it's like if you make a film that's good in itself right you know like, the that's completion it. of it is, is an achievement yeah definitely you know you just have like, something out and like always try to like you know share it and like try to uh, see other other um uh, yeah how people like receive it you know so it's like you, you 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 know you like it or not at least you know you watch it and then um hopefully uh, creates a, a starting point, right? I think for totally. for discussion, dialogue, or you know, anything you can, uh, any feedback, right? I think is is uh, well received, you know. Well, I think that's a great attitude to have going in, and I do really think the audience is going to love it. And I think the fact that it is about Oregon and based in Portland, and it's you know, for Portlanders who are watching it, it's a familiar setting, the old Portland houses, and the kind of you know, this history and the idea of these ghosts that I think it's really going to resonate with people uh, on March 19th, uh, sorry, March 17th at the Oregon Shore Film Festival. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to playing it on the big screen. Oh, great. Yeah, that's also, um, yeah it should be pretty fun, you know, able totally. to see it and, you know. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to it. Edgar, thank you so much for talking to me and uh, thank you for uh, submitting to our festival once again. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I always have a, a pretty good time and looking forward to see you guys again and, uh, uh, and see it all, you know, pretty amazing films too. Excellent. Well, I'll see you there. Take care. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye.